school safety has become one of the leading discussions in education, and Dallas ISD is committed to the safety and well-being of all students, teachers, and staff. But how can you become better prepared in helping secure our schools and facilities? Today, we will review Dallas ISD's school safety protocols. First, we'll talk about general building security. Second, we'll go over the visitor management system. Then we'll discuss employee access card procedures. Lastly, we'll review our district standard response protocols. The most basic way we can ensure our students and staff are safe is by keeping our buildings secure. There are a few key steps that will safeguard our schools and facilities. All exterior entrances must always be locked during the day. This is to ensure only permitted students and staff have access to the campus. These entrances must always be monitored and supervised throughout the day. All exterior doors should be free of objects meant to create easy access inside without a key. This means doors cannot be blocked or propped open in any way. Although it may be well-intentioned, it could lead to some negative consequences if the wrong person gains entry inside our buildings. All school and department staff must follow and teach others the proper way to gain entry into a campus or district facility. We know on any given day, a campus can welcome a wide range of visitors, from mailmen, volunteers, maintenance crews, and parents. Let's review how visitors can properly gain access into a building and why it's important all visitors follow this outline process. The district uses a visitor management system called Raptor, which helps identify and check if a guest is allowed in our schools. Raptor is a powerful school safety tool that screens visitors for registered sex offenders, manages custody issues, and even coordinates volunteers. So it's vital all visitors follow this process. All visitors must sign in and out in the school's main office. This is so that the school administration has documentation of any visitor. All visitors are required to provide proper identification that will be vetted through the Raptor system. All staff must approach individuals without the proper visitor's tag and escort them to the main office to sign in. Remember to assist in a friendly and kind manner as they may not be aware of our visitor and safety protocols. To help increase safety among employees, all staff have employee access cards that give them access to their respective campuses. Employee access cards must be turned into the school office manager when an employee has a change in assignment that requires them to move to another campus, location, or resigns from the district. School office managers must reconcile employee access cards immediately when an employee has a change in assignment that requires them to move to another campus, location, or resigns from the district. All employees must lead by example and wear their district identification badge in a manner that allows the individual to be easily identifiable as a district employee. Know that not everyone you interact with at school knows you or your position, and it's best to be on the safe side. Standard Response Protocol The Standard Response Protocol provides guidance to facilitate response actions in case of an emergency. It's based on five actions, lock out, lock down, evacuation, shelter, and hold. Each action is followed by a directive. The action and directive are announced on the school's PA to inform staff and students of the emergency. Lockout is announced when there is a hazard or threat outside of the school building. This may be due to an unauthorized person trying to gain access into the building or police activity in the area. The announcement for a lockout is, lock out, get inside, lock outside doors. Staff will check outside for students and bring them inside quickly. Post lockout signs on door and secure the door. Multiple staff should be assigned to each area of the school to ensure all entrances are covered. No one will be allowed to enter or leave the building until the lockout is over. Classroom activities will continue if possible. Lockdown is announced when there is a threat inside the school building. This may be due to an intruder, an altercation in the building, or an active shooter. The announcement for a lockdown is, lockdown, locks light out of sight. 
When the lockdown is announced, students should move to an area of the room that is out of sight from the doors and windows. Students outside the classroom should be brought inside. Lock the door, turn off the lights, and remain silent. If you hear gunshots or see someone with a gun, go into lockdown mode. Do not wait until lockdown is announced. Depending on the situation, evacuation may not be an option. Once the door is locked, no one is to enter or leave until responders open the door and escort you out. Evacuate is announced when there is a need to move students from one location to another in an emergency. The announcement for an evacuation is evacuate to location. Students quickly move to evacuation location and leave their belongings behind. Teachers must bring a class roster and their emergency bag. If easily available, students may bring phones. Upon arriving to the evacuation location, teachers should take attendance. Notify school leadership if someone is missing or if someone is injured. Shelter is announced when protective actions are needed based on a threat or hazard. The announcement for shelter is unique in both hazard and response strategy. For example, shelter from tornado, move to designated shelter area, Students should leave their belongings. Teachers should lead safety strategy based on the hazard and take attendance. It is important to listen for additional instructions since severe weather can change quickly. Hold is an appropriate response when it is necessary to restrict movement within a school. Reasons for a hold may be a medical emergency within the school, an altercation, a broken water pipe, etc. The announcement for a hold is, hold in your classroom or area. Students are to remain out of the hallways. Classes should continue as usual. These are the actions and instructions for the standard response protocol. This standard has a shared vocabulary between students, staff, and first responders during any emergency at school. All schools are required to complete an evacuation drill and a lockdown drill in the fall semester during the spring semester, all schools must complete their shelter drill and a drill of choice. Following these safety protocols and working together, we can create a safe environment for educating all students for success. For more information, please visit the website on your screen.